Alright, back to another album review. Today's review is on Sound City, Real to Real. It's actually the soundtrack to the 2013 documentary, Sound City. It's a pretty interesting documentary. It's on YouTube. And this album was recorded between November 2nd and 3rd, 2011 at Studio 606 West in Northridge, Los Angeles. It was released on March 12th, 2013 on Roswell Records and distributed by RCA Records. It was produced, it was, uh, produced by Butch Vig, and I'm pretty sure most people watching this video know who he is. Chris Lord Alge and James Brown were responsible for the mixing. In order to get this album made, Dave Grohl created a supergroup called Sound City Players. Every musician who is with the supergroup performs on this album. It's just that Dave is the only one who performs on every song. There are some members of Foo Fighters who also perform, including Pat Smear, Ramey Jaffe, and Taylor Hawkins. Rest in peace to Taylor. Now, I'm not going to list every musician on the album just yet. Instead, uh, I'll bring them up as we go along when we discuss the songs. Now, this isn't the first time Dave had collaborated with various other musicians on one album, because there was also a Probot back in 2004. But that's a different story. That being said, let's discuss the songs. The album starts with Heaven and All, which is, which is uh, performed by Robert Levin, uh, uh, Robert Levin Ben, uh, Dave Grohl, and Peter Hayes. Robert and Peter are best known for being members of the band Black Rebel Motorcycle Club. I'm not familiar with that band, but I might check them out someday. Anyways, this is a good song, I and mean, we're only getting started. As that is Time Slowing Down by Chris Goss, Dave Grohl, Brad Wilk, and Tim Comerford. Chris is best known for being the lead singer on Masters of Reality. Brad and Tim are best known for being members of Rage Against the Machine. But we're also members of Audio Slave and Prophets of Rage. Also, this is the second longest song on the album at 5 minutes and 58 seconds long. Up next is You Can't Fix This by Stevie Nicks, Dave Grohl, Taylor Hawkins, and Rami Jaffe. Now, this, now, the song was released as a single on uh, February 15th, 2013, which was almost a month before the album. I am familiar with Stevie Nicks since I've heard a few of her songs, and her music is pretty good from what I've heard. I remember seeing this meme pointing out that Taylor Swift wrote songs about her exes while Stevie Nicks play, made her ex play guitar while she sang songs about what an asshole he was. You can see the meme on screen. That is, uh... The Man That Never Was by Rick Springfield, Dave Grohl, Taylor Hawkins, Rami Jaffe, Pat Smear, and Chris Shiflett. Rick Springfield was uh, a member of the band Zoo, but is best known for his solo career. It's also the second shortest song on the album at 3 minutes and 24 seconds long. It's followed by Your Wife Is Calling by Lee Ving, Dave Grohl, Taylor Hawkins, Pat Smear, and El Elaine Johannes. Lee Ving is best known for being the lead singer of the punk band Fear. Great band, by the way. As for Elaine Johannes, uh, he has worked with various artists including Chris Cornell, Mark Lanigan, Queens of the Stone Age, PJ Harvey, and then Crooked Vultures, among others. It's also the shortest song in the album at 3 minutes and 20 seconds long. It followed up with From Can to Cants by Corey Taylor, Dave Grohl, Rick Nielsen, and Scott, he and, uh, Scott Reeder. Most people know about Corey Taylor being the lead singer of Slipknot and Stone Sour. Rick Nielsen, on the other hand, is the lead guitarist for a Cheap Trick. And I actually saw a Cheap Trick in concert back in 2013, but that's a different story. As for Scott Reeder, he's the basis for the band, uh, he's the basis for the band Fireball Ministry, though he didn't join that band until 2014. The next song is called Centipede by Joshua Holm, Dave Grohl, Chris Goss, and Elaine Johannes. I first heard about Joshua Holmes being the lead singer of the band Queens of the Stone Age. I should definitely check that band out someday. Up next is A Trick with No Sleep by Elaine Johannes, Dave Grohl, and Joshua Holmes. Now, the song stands out being the only one on this album to feature lead vocals by Elaine Johannes. Followed up with Cut Me Some Slack by Paul McCartney, Dave Grohl, Pat Smear, and Chris Novoselic. The song was released as a single on December 12th, I mean, uh, December 14th, 2012. It holds the only distinction of being the only one on this album that Paul and Chris are featured on, and my dad sometimes plays this song on his radio show. 
What's interesting is that Paul plays a cigar box guitar on the song. The next, now the next song is If I Were Me by Dave Grohl, Remy Jaffe, Jesse Green, and Jim Keltner. Now Jesse has worked with various artists including Foo Fighters, Wilco, Ghost, and several others. As for Jim Keltner, now there's a long list of artists who he has worked with. It's also the only song on this album that Jesse and Jim are featured on. This album ends with Mantra by Dave Grohl, Joshua Holm, and Trent Reznor. You know, this, this album was released as a single on March 12th, 2013, which is the same day as the album. Trent Reznor needs no introduction since just about everyone in the rock and metal communities knows who he is since he's the lead singer of the band Nine Inch Nails. It's also the only song on the album that he's featured on. On top of that, this is the longest song on the album at 7 minutes and 43 seconds long. What I read is that this album peaked at number 8 on the U.S. Billboard 200. Number one on the U.S. Hard Rock, uh, number one on the U.S. Top Hard Rock albums, number four on the the U.S. Top Rock albums, number two on the U.S. Uh, top Alternative albums, and number one on the U.S. Soundtrack albums. It's also certified platinum in Australia by selling over fifteen thousand copies over there. I saw this album was met with mostly positive reviews from critics, though some reviews were in the middle. As for my opinion on it, I think this is a great album overall. I definitely recommend this album. I know you can get a digital download of this album from Foo Fighters web store, but you can always get it on CD from Amazon, and that's what I did. Anyways, now is the part where I question you. Have you listened to Sound City, Real to Real? If so, what are your thoughts on it? What's your favorite song from it? Do you think Dave Grohl will ever, will ever collaborate with dozens of musicians? Uh, on one album ever again, and let me know in the comments. If you like the video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to hit the notification bell so you're notified of future uploads. Thanks for watching, I'll be back soon with another video.